Barney Bear Club. Here's Barney. Would you like to wave to the boys and girls, Barney? Hello, boys and girls. You'd like to wave to the teddy bears as well. Hello to all the bears. Now, Barney, you've brought something unusual in your bag today, haven't you? Would you like to show the boys and girls? Here's Barney's special Barney bag, boys and girls. Shall I have a look inside? This is something very unusual and different, Barney. Now, what do we have here? It's a man in armour. Oh, look at that. What's he wearing armour for? It protects him. I see. Do, do men know we wear armour today? They used to wear it to fight in. It looks like it would have been heavy. Do you know what it was made of? Metal like bronze. Oh, and what colours can we see on this man in armour? Silver, yes. What about round, round his arms? Gold, yes. Have a look. Oh, look at that. See some more colours if we turn him round, Barney. He's got a brown belt, yes. Blue and white. Well done. He looks very smart in that armour. Do you think today's story might have something to do with armour? Let's put him on the story table. Oh, there's some more interesting things on the story table, Barney. You can see some blue material. Well, that's supposed to represent a stream for the story. You know what a stream is? A little river, that's right. There's some stones in the stream. What else can we see? Your favourite ruler, yes. And what colour is your favourite ruler? It's red. And look at this. Now this is meant to be a sling, Barney. And a sling is in the story today as well. You're excited now, aren't you? Because you're not sure what's going to happen in this story. Well, today's story is all about a boy called David. Do you think we can spell the word David? If I help you, what do you think it starts with, David? D, that's right. David. An A and a V. V. What else, David? An I. And what about the final letter? A D, well done. Now, let's see if you can point to some colours for us, Barney. Can you point to a pink letter? That's right, a pink A. Can you point to a yellow letter? Well done. What about a red letter? And a blue letter? And the last one, what colour is the one we haven't used? Green, that's right, a green letter. Let's get on with the story, shall we? Are you ready for the story? Right. Long ago, there were two armies. There was the Israelites and the Philistines. Now, in the Philistine army, there was a huge man, and his name was Goliath. If we look at the picture, on our story table, Barney, look at him. Yes, he's wearing armour, isn't he? He does, he looks mean, yes. And he was over nine feet tall. That's big, isn't it? So when we look at your ruler, your ruler is one foot. How tall am I? I am about five foot and seven inches. So Goliath was very tall, wasn't he? Now... Goliath, this very tall man, he was quite nasty and he used to come out to the front of the army of the Philistines and he said to the Israelites, you send one of your men to come out and fight me. And they were scared, that's right, because he was such a big man. And, the, and Goliath said, and whoever wins 
If I win, then the Israelites will be our slaves. But if you win, we will be your slaves. We've heard about slaves before, haven't we, Bonnie? Do you know what slaves are? Yes, people who have masters who tell them what to do. They have to do as they're told all the time, don't they, slaves? So the Israelites weren't very happy about that. And so there wasn't anybody among the Israelites who was willing to fight this giant Goliath. And the king of Is the Israelites, called King Saul, he said, anyone who will fight Goliath, they will have my daughter's hand in marriage and they will be given a lot of money and their family won't have to pay taxes. So that was a very good offer, wasn't it? But nobody was found who would be willing to fight Goliath. Now in Israel at that time, there was a man called Jesse and he had eight sons and three of his sons were in the Israelite army. So they were there when the, all this was happening with Goliath. But meanwhile, they, there was a youngest son and his name was David. And his job back home was to look after all the sheep. So he was known as a shepherd. Now, one day, Jesse, his father, said, you go and take some food to your brothers who are in the Israelite army and leave your sheep. So he left the sheep with another shepherd and he set off and he took his brothers some bread and some roasted grain. And they also took some cheese for the head of their section of the army. Now when he got there, he heard all about this man Goliath. And he said, well, he said, I will fight this man Goliath. And when Saul heard about it, he called for David. I looked at him and he thought, well, he's only a boy. And so he was a bit doubtful, King Saul. And he said, I'm not sure whether you could fight this big man. But David said, when I look after the sheep, I protect the sheep and I kill wild animals. And I'm sure I will be able to fight this man Goliath with God's help. So Saul said, well, put David my armour on and give him my sword and so they did they put David some armour on but David wasn't used to wearing armour yes it would have been heavy to wear so he wouldn't have been able to move around very well in the fight would he because he wasn't used to it so David said I'll be alright with what I've already got and he had a staff with him which was like a stick and he had a sling so this is our sling, so you can join in the story soon, Barney, would you like that? And he went to the stream, and in the stream he found some stones. Shall we count out how many stones he found in the stream? That's one. One grey stone we've got so far, haven't we? And what about this one? That's a white stone, so how many is that? Two. And another one. How many is that? Three. And another one. Four, yes. And one more stone to go. What can you tell about these stones if you feel at them, Barney? They were smooth stones, that's right. And that stone is number five. Well done. Now, so David, he took his sling and he put one of the smooth stones inside the sling, ready to fight. Oh, Barney, so you hold the sling, that's it. Now, and Goliath came forward ready to meet him and he made fun of David. He thought, you're only a boy and you've come to fight me. Because Saul had said to David, well, you haven't been a fighting man and Goliath has been a fighting man since he was young. But David trusted God. David trusted God to help him fight Goliath and to win. So he went forward and he faced Goliath and he took hold of his sling and he turned it round. That's it, you're doing well, boy. And he threw the, the stone out. <gasps> Barney, have you hit the cameraman? Oh no! 
Let's see what happened in the story. David let go of the stone and it came out towards Goliath and he looks like he's toppling and what do you think happened? It hit him on the forehead and it sunk into his forehead and that's right Barney. He fell down, face down and then David ran up and he killed Goliath. And the battle was won because when the Philistines saw that their champion, their Goliath, had fallen and been killed, they turned and they ran and all the Israelites ran after them. And they had a fight and they won the battle. Isn't that wonderful, Barney? That was all because one boy believed in God and he believed that God would help himself and his people through a very difficult a worrying time. You see, God can help us in the same way when we need him through dangerous and difficult times, can't he? Did you like that story, Barney? You liked taking part and pretending to be David, didn't you? Would you like to take a bow for being David? Well done, Barney. Now, would you like to say goodbye to the boys and girls until next time? Bye, boys and girls, till next time. His name is Paul.